We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs. High as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, February the 16th. It's the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 67, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14, to chapter 4, verse 10, and a canticle from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verses 1 through 7. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins. In Jesus' holy name, amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us. Shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. Psalm 67. Alleluia, be merciful to us and bless us and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. And then shall the earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 3, beginning at verse 14. I hope to come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you so that if I am delayed, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the bulwark of the truth. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is great. He, Christ, was revealed in flesh, vindicated in spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, and taken up in glory. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, nourished in the words of the faith and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness. 
For while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance. For to this end we toil and struggle, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, have mercy on us, O God of all, and look at us. Strike fear into all the nations that do not seek you. Lift your hand against the corrupt and let them see your power as they saw your holiness displayed in us. So let us see your strength displayed among them. And let them know, as we have known, there is no other God but only you. Show us new signs and miracles. Glorify your mighty hand and right arm, that they may demonstrate your wondrous works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.